Hello and good morning. Good morning, good morning, Lagos. Good morning, Nigeria. Wherever you're watching us from right now, we say good morning. Welcome to a special Friday edition of Wake Up Nigeria. Yeah, and if you're still in bed, wake up. Your favorite breakfast show is about to begin. Welcome to Wake Up Nigeria. My name is Yomi Uwobi. And I'm Titi Laya So Now, there's an interesting show prepared just for you. So make sure you stream with us. It's tvcentertainment.tv and, of course, Facebook Live at TVC Connect. Yeah, you can also send in your comments using our hashtag on our social media platforms. Use the hashtag Wake Up Nigeria on TVC. And that's on Twitter, Instagram, and on Facebook. So that app we talk about every single day, hopefully you've downloaded it by now, but if you haven't, just make it a point of duty. Go to the Android or iOS store and download the app to your mobile devices so you can watch us from anywhere. Hmm. Literally anywhere. Maybe even from space. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Anyways, as long as you off. have internet, you can watch us. Yeah. Yes, indeed. <laughs> now to kick off the show, we have a musical performance from Afro pop and hip hop artist uh, Mmzil. Also coming up is a stage play by Bolanle titled Man Enough. See you. See you. So we are paying you now to rest and not to work, yeah? And then we'll switch things up. We have an energetic dance performance from A Blaze Dance Crew coming up very, very soon. For our second musical performance this morning, we have singer and songwriter P. Ray. Interesting video there. Mm. And finally, joining us for a chat later is award winning actor, mother, and philanthropist Omotola Jalade Ekengi. Anyway, I'm here for just one thing stay off my property. This little girl. You have a loud mouth. You don't even have fear in you. Eh? I fear eh? no one. Throwback. Wow. Hey, people. Of so uh, I've, been away, I've been out for three days. Yeah. Mm. yeah. And you're back. Yeah. It's, you're it's, back. So I was in Nairobi. Oh, OK. OK. With my sister. OK. Good and <laughs> so something, something remarkable um, about the country is that it's very clean. I'm not even yes. going to lie. Yeah. Wow. Now it's um, it's it's like being on Lagos Island, but very organized because it's very ancient. They have old buildings and stuff, but it's very organized. Every few steps, you have a waste bin. Wow! And people just have that culture of I couldn't I didn't see any sweet wraps, mm -hmm. any b b empty bottles of water, none, none for miles. Wow! I'm not kidding. Wow! So that 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 was what I took away from it. It's not like it's it's fancy. They don't have fancy shiny buildings or anything mm -hmm. like that. I mean, they have a few, mm -hmm. but it's very clean. Hmm. Cleanliness and is something one can take from Kenya. Yeah. That's true. Mm. My sister happened to also be in Nairobi, mm. and um, the sister after her is currently in Dubai on a vacation. Mm. And so each of them sharing photos and talking about the countries they are in, and I'm like. <laughs> God bless Nigeria. Yeah. <laughs> That's all I well, can say. Do you think we can actually get there? Now. We're clean here now. Uh, <laughs> Cleanliness is relative. Uh, like <laughs> you. <laughs> no, Mike, you look relative cleaned to up today. Really it's relative. Know. You see, uh, when you look at uh, a city wow. like Lagos State, <laughs> Lagos State, <laughs> as it is, Exactly. It's one of in our fact, problems. As it stands now, the way we are going by 2015, Nigeria and Lagos will be, will be fighting for which population is much is more. You see, <laughs> okay, the so population, the density. See, it's Lagos, too dense. Yes. See, it's, even, it's too, it's too dense to even be clean. I'm, I'm, I'm serious. Mm. We, we have to find a way to, maybe find a way to reduce it. When I mean reduce it in such a way, I don't know whether it has to do with birth rate or something, mm. but it's, get, it's too crowded. Yeah. And when there is a crowd, it is going to be extremely hard to uh, put in measures that can ensure cleanliness. So, Mike, it has to also do with the industries. I realize that so many industries feel Lagos is it. Mm -hmm. There are some that are beginning to spread to Ogun State, being that that's the neighboring state, state. Uh, mm. which is helping. So more mm. people are beginning to relocate to Ogun State, which 
I believe the governor, uh, the, the government of Ogun State should take massive advantage of. Mm. But then you're right. We need to do something about this. Um, so the, the, the population. Thing is, if, even if you you want to start a factory, for instance, a simple factory for something as simple as maybe making bowls or making glass cups or something, mm. the land is cheaper outside Lagos. Mm -hmm. Apparently, the electricity is cheaper outside Lagos. <laughs> the the, the okay. labor the labor is cheaper outside Lagos. Everything is cheaper outside Everything Lagos. is cheaper. So if you're really thinking like an entrepreneur, you'll be thinking about how to reduce your overheads. Moving outside Lagos is the idea. The only but issue getting things into is Lagos. transporting exactly. them into Lagos. Exactly. That's the thing that's so you, making you, everybody you, come you, you, here. You probably will eventually um, uh, hmm. do better if you were in Lagos. Mm -hmm. Because if yeah. you were in, say, operating out of Ocean State, mm. sheer moving your your truck or whatever cargo. it is, your mm. cargo, to Lagos, mm. probably 20 police checkpoints. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, apart from the bad roads yeah. and the driver calling you that... Um, the tires. You know, the <laughs> axle don't break. You know, things like that. And yeah. then you're sending money down. So at the end of yeah. the day, it d never really makes sense, mm. which is why usually industries will say we're eventually going to move to Lagos. Wherever they start from, yes. yeah. they want to move. move and then, you know, it. another issue is the, um, the ports. Mm. So everyone keeps saying, let's um, decentralize the ports from Lagos. There are other ports in Nigeria. Uh, but the other ports in Nigeria are not really as would I use the word famed as Lagos ports? They're not functional. So they're, most, not functional. they're not functional. Exactly. Not functional. I, I, don't, I didn't want to well, use that. Let's so, use the word. No, they're, they're, not yeah. so no, well, they're not functional. So in a situation where ships are yeah. coming from outside the country, most of them birth in Lagos. Mm. So even for companies that are outside Lagos, you still have to find your way to Lagos to get your, uh, your, your goods and still transport it crazy. back outside. to where you are. So... It has to do with so many things, really. It's, it's not it, just was, about, at, at about um, at about 11 the cost. p.m. Mm -hmm. yesterday night. Uh, an Abuja person was in Lagos, and I was driving. And she saw some traffic. Like, ah, if it's Abuja, it's <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. in Lagos. Yeah, yeah. So I did like this. Uh -uh. At 11 o'clock, I said, "Calm down. You've not seen one o'clock." <laughs> she said, "Okay, I give up." I said, "You've not seen one o'clock. Me, I see one a.m." One AM traffic. Oh, oh but me. seriously, I must mention, Mike, you look good. Oh, you thank you. Really By the way, uh, maybe run away with her birthday, right? Yeah. <laughs> She's here. She we'll talk about that, that later. For the news. Yep. Sarah, <laughs> don't stand by. Stand by. <laughs> All right, let's go to the news update. Now, President Mohamed Buhari has made a strong demand for exemplary conduct of non-partisanship from election and law enforcement officials in Bayelsa and Kogi states. In a statement signed by the senior special assistant to the president on media and publicity, Garba Shew, the president charged all officials to carry out their functions with fairness and transparency without fear or favor. President Buhari called on voters to exercise their franchise in a peaceful and orderly manner and in line with the law in all situations. He also lamented the incidents of violence recorded and indiscriminate use of language since the ban on campaigns was lifted a few weeks ago. The statement also noted, quote, law enforcement officials must ensure that citizens are allowed to vote without harassment and intimidation, and any attempt to steal or hijack ballots must be stopped using all legal means, end quote. He also urged all candidates to be ready to accept the outcomes and follow due process of the law if dissatisfied. Well, ahead of Saturday's governorship and senatorial rerun elections in Kogi State, the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, has taken delivery of sensitive materials to be used for the polls like ballot papers and result sheets from the Central Bank of Nigeria. TVC News senior political correspondent Ayodele Ozumbaku witnessed the exercise. This is the final phase of preparations for the conduct of the governorship and senatorial rerun elections in Kogi State. Officials of the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, were at the Central Bank of Nigeria, Sibian Lukoja, to take delivery of sensitive materials like ballot papers and result sheets that will be used for the polls. The resident electoral commissioner, the commissioner of police, party agents and security operatives were at the venue to witness the handing over of the electoral materials. The resident electoral commissioner listed the sensitive materials and their destination. What we have here are the ballot papers for the governorship election as well as those for the Western Senatorial District as well as the result sheets, result forms for both elections. So that's what we're sorting out so that they can be taken to the local government areas. 
So that makes it very easy for us to just leave them. Uh, though we needed to still do some, um, some checks to make sure that uh, there's no mix-up anywhere, which we are doing. Deployment of talks in Kogi State. Um, the executive director of Yaga Africa, Samson Itodo, raised alarm about their pre-election observations, which shows that there is deployment of talks in the confluent states. He challenged security agencies to safeguard the electoral materials. We know that um, in elections, once material leaves the CBN and on their way to the racks, um, they are intercepted by either TOGS, and our pre-election observation has shown that there's deployment of TOGS in Kogi State, um, and that has been a source of concern for stakeholders. Therefore, we expect that INEC will get all the maximum security protection it needs from the police, from all the other security agencies to secure these materials. The resident electoral commissioner also spoke about arrangements made to ensure materials get to flooded communities like Basa and the Baji local government areas, as well as Kotonkafri. EO has set stockholder meetings with the, with the people there. and If need be, they can move to dry land and do the coalition as well as the voting. Um, but we've arrangements for all staff to get to everywhere. In fact, the Navy are helping us with their boats to get there too, as well as with patrols. As well as, uh, we also have a boat with the Navy which is going to be used. And then additionally, we'll hire boats too to move both staff and materials to those places. The materials will be distributed to the 21 local government areas of the states, from where they'll be further distributed to various registration areas. About 1.6 million voters are expected to participate in the governorship election across the 21 local government areas of the states. Ayodili Uzuwaku, TVC News, Lokoja, Kogi States. Well, it's just one day to the governorship election in Kogi and Bayosa states, and more than 60 candidates are contesting the election in both states. Their fate would be determined by 2.4 million registered voters. The Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, while stating its preparedness for the polls, highlighted flashpoints in Kogi and Bayosa, expressing concerns that the polls may be marred by violence. Now, men of the Niger police have been deployed to the states to forestall the breakdown of law and order. And INEC says operators of the EFCC and ICPC will be deployed to the polling centres to arrest persons involved in vote buying. Well, away from the elections now, a high court in Abuja has imposed a fine of one million naira on Busola Dakolo over rape allegations against the senior pastor of the Commonwealth of Zion Assembly, Biodo Fatoimbo. She sued the pastor and alleged that his action and his denial in statements caused her emotional distress that affected a marital sex life. But the presiding judge described it as a purely sentimental abuse of judicial process. It is Mr. Case said Mrs. Dakolo wasted the court's time and ordered her to pay one million naira. Mrs. Dakolo's lawyer says she will go to a superior court to challenge the ruling. Now outside Nigeria, in California, four, two students have been killed and three others have been injured by a gunman who opened fire at a high school in California minutes before the school day was due to begin. According to authorities, the incident took place in just 16 seconds when the teen whose birthday was on Thursday went to his high school, pulled a pistol from his backpack and shot five classmates and himself. The victims, a 16-year-old girl and a 14-year-old boy, died at a hospital, while the 16-year-old male suspect, who was also injured and in critical condition, has been taken into custody. Well, that's it on the news update for this hour. The weather forecast is up next. And uh, looking at, uh, starting with The Nation this morning, it looks like. The Nation newspaper has this headline, Governor's Chairman Bako Shomole over quit call. Don't cause disaffection in APC, it says. PGF DG says party not being properly run. Page 7 
has more on that. It also says at the top of the page here, why Southwest deserves development con commission bill before Senate. Buhari orders ballot box protection uh, set all set in Bayelsa. Kogi. Uh, Nigeria others raise team on border closure agencies to meet. Right here it says uh, ICPC freezes 12.9 billion naira on MDA's accounts, recovers 3 billion naira from 59 directors. Dakolo's rape case empty, says court. Page 5 has more on that. And finally, <clears throat> Oyetola presents 119.5 billion naira 2020 budget plan. That's what we have on the cover of the nation. All right, uh, it looks like. Uh, Let's see. We have the Guardian newspaper next. Okay, we, we need to take a break now. We need to take a quick break now okay. and uh, be right back with uh, more on Wake Up Nigeria. <laughs> Right on the R. <laughs> it's time for the Lagos traffic updates on Wake Up Nigeria. You know, of course, uh, Lagos traffic can be a bit frustrating. Did I say a bit? A lot of frustration can be attached. And that's why we are here to make your journey not just a little easier, but much easier uh, by giving you the best routes to help you navigate and get to your destination safe and sound. Now, remember, you can be a part of this by tweeting and leaving comments of your traffic situation on our social media pages using the hashtag WakeUpNigeria on TVC. All right, uh, this morning, we're going to start from uh, the Ileko bus stop axis heading to Mushin bus stop. I like to take that axis because the traffic situation there is uh, wonky. One minute, it's all right. The next minute, it's all over the place, yeah. Uh, so uh, I'm just going to give you the red areas, uh, places you should look out for in case you can make a detour and avoid uh, those areas, all right? Uh, so as it is, uh, Ileko is quite free right now. Uh, approaching a pleasure bus stop, there's a bit of a gridlock. I do not know what's responsible. I really hope there hasn't been an accident there. And it's only for a short while. So as soon as you're approaching a pleasure bus stop, look out for it. Be very careful. Be patient while driving, all right? Uh, at pleasure bus stop, there's light traffic. Uh, but just for a while, there's a freeway. But the red area to look out for, though, is Yano Ekpaja. As a matter of fact, as soon as you're past pleasure a bit, the traffic begins to build up after the freeway. And by the time you're approaching Yanokwaja, the gridlock begins. The bumper to fender will take you until you are under the bridge. But as soon as you pass the bridge, passing some light traffic, it's a freeway. So that's an area to look out for. Uh, going to Yano, pockets of traffic there. Now, there's a shocker. Doc Bemu is free. <laughs> I can't even believe it myself. Like, it's a freeway all the way through the bridge uh, from Yano, just light traffic, but it really is a freeway. But when you're past uh, Dokbemu, especially around that filling station, that's uh, the, the petrol station there, the gridlock starts. But don't worry, it doesn't go all the way to Ikeja like it did on Tuesday. It's only for a short while. Uh, it will just take you uh, to the Onilekere police station. From there, it's a freeway, okay? So you're good to go. Pockets of traffic till you get to Ile Zik. Yes, there is no traffic around Mangoro. Fantastic, right? <laughs> However, as you're getting to Ile Zik, prepare your mind, though, because you pass Ile Zik, no problem. Hmm? Uh, but approaching um, Ikeja along, that's a red area as well. And that traffic will take you all the way till you get to that intersection uh, for those who are going towards the airport. Afterwards, it's good to go, Oshodi. The traffic under the bridge as usual. And of course, uh, heading to Mushi, it's a freeway as well this morning. Now, I'm pretty sure you guys have updates for me. So what's going on on social media regarding traffic? Mm -hmm. uh, just a few. Uh, I've got a uh, tra traffic butter here. And I've got a few tweets from them. Okota Bridge, Okota Link Bridge, Inward Ago uh, Roundabout, currently good to go. That's nice. And also... I have here uh, moving traffic currently immediately after Underbridge in Wadi Lake, uh, along Badagri Expressway. 
uh, so it's moving, uh, but there's a, a bit of traffic there. And uh, 27 minutes ago, that's just uh, past six this morning, Magboro to Long Bridge free, but watch out for a broken down truck. So this is a big issue mm -hmm. that we keep talking about. Um, broken down trucks, yeah. even on roads that would normally have been free, once yeah. the truck breaks down, it's mm -hmm. just, you know. So uh, on the right side of the road, on the Long Bridge, and then the slow movement at Berger immediately uh, after Kara Bridge due to impediment. Um, anyway, so, so there, there, are, there are small challenges even, here and there. Even earlier this morning, around uh, just before five, there was a broken down truck right at the seven up U-turn. Wow. Right there. It broke down as it was trying to turn. To return, yeah. So there's less than half a lane available for people to U-turn, which is definitely going to slow down traffic. Yeah, so hopefully, hopefully that has been moved. Uh, hopefully. Yeah. So, but, you mean, know. you mentioned... Um, At 5 a.m., who's on the road to move things like that, mm. you know? And I was wondering, have you ever been on a bus there and said, Beja, wow. <laughs> I just keep wondering if anybody that's, has... That's called it in the water, it's called. So it's B-A-G-A. Mm. That's that's Bega. what we, no, that's no, what we call it. B A G Baga. 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 Yeah, so. Wow. Ah, bah, bah. No, no, no. Wow. The G is silent. Ah, wow. ah. Bah, bah. <laughs> I'll never forget my first experience in Lagos. Wow. I always tell I lose a lovely story. <laughs> ah? Everything just sings flow. Ah. Only my ah, ah. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not Hey, what are you saying, man? And I was on job. I stayed there for almost 30 minutes. <laughs> and they don't stop for you. They oh won't stop for you. Wow. You just started to do. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you know what? Let me just move on to the traffic <laughs> updates, all <Yeah>. right? <laughs> Okay, so moving on, Iyano were to Obale Day on that bridge. Oh, uh, I, I forgot to tell you earlier that it will take you just about 50 minutes from Ileipo to Mushin bus stop this morning, which is good traffic, especially mm -hmm. in the morning. Fantastic traffic, in fact. Uh, this morning, though, it will take you just about 45 minutes from Iyano were to Obale Day. Another good one. I can't remember the last time I saw this, perhaps two weeks ago, uh, or when there was a public holiday on Monday. Yeah. As it is, uh, pockets of traffic, uh, as soon as you get on the bridge, uh, there's a gridlock. I really hope there hasn't been an accident there. And then the uh, pockets of traffic uh, here and there, uh, mostly freeway, until uh, you get to the Unilag axis where there's another gridlock. I really hope again there isn't any accidents there. After which, uh, at the Unilag axis itself, it's a freeway, uh, but shortly after, the gridlock starts. Uh, it starts off with a light traffic, but as you are approaching the UI axis of the bridge, uh, the gridlock runs through till you get to the end of the bridge, which makes it surprising that it will take you just about 45 minutes. But that is the traffic situation, which means there might be a gridlock, but it's mostly free flowing, okay? And then light traffic as soon as uh, you get off the bridge, and uh, that light traffic uh, might lead to some freeway and then uh, a bit of gridlock until you get to a Balinde bridge. So, uh, 50 minutes plus if you're coming from Ileipo bus stop heading to Mushi and uh, just about 45 minutes plus if you're heading from Iyanowuru bus stop to Obalinde on that bridge after which of course uh, you'll be just fine. Oh. Right now I know it's time for us to have our gist so I'll be heading to the kitchen uh, <laughs> to join the guys but let me just quickly mention that ah. to take you just about an hour to go from Maryland to CMS Garage this morning. Wherever you may be, have consideration for other road users. Drive carefully and be at alert. As mm. usual. I need to All take right? Mary just about uh, yes, 30 seconds to get into the kitchen Go here. Up, up. There's no traffic. Uh -uh. So yes. I've tried to hold myself that she's not heal Mary. <laughs> but Mary is so good at this thing. Ah, Mary. You need Are you to sure start? we shouldn't make a uniform ah. for her, really? Mary. Oh, no, no, I feel no, like no, salute. No, 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 no. Uh, 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 she's, uh, she's doing uh, uh, Negotian's uh, a great service. Mary. Yes. Really. I'll open my own traffic. You, ha you yeah, have honestly. to. I will push you to you that you have to. You should have your own last uh -oh. officers contacting you personally. Personally. To give you information Maybe we'll arrange it on how my time is done. The road will be even free by the time. <laughs> so um, there's just so much to talk about. Quite a lot is trending. But I know that there's a... A video yeah, that we have to play, to play, but just before the video, yeah. mm. you know, it was it was um, 
yesterday, two very big birthdays. So just before we go to the video, uh, we really have to. We can't just let yeah, Mary go like that. You know. It was Mary. Mary's birthday. We have to say nice things about. No, no we have to say things about Mary. Uh -uh. We, we things, have, we have nice things. You started with nice things. You know, I want to say nice things. Okay, 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 okay. Do you know why? Do you know why? Do you know why I say things? So that nice whatever I with. say, whatever we say, yeah. let's be as honest as possible. And I'm sure it's mostly going to be nice. But we know that we're not trying to patronize her uh -uh. because we're talking about it. Uh -uh. Yeah. Wow. Okay. You know. So everything you do say can or will be used against you. I'm just saying. Uh, <laughs> Mary is really, really sweet. Mm. And honestly, when it comes to someone you see every single morning, there are just some people that, man, you're just like, okay, by the time I see Mary, I'll calm down. You know, that's the kind of feeling I have whenever I see her in the makeup room. Yes, when, I, when, when Mary is around, <laughs> I just calm down, like, okay, okay, it's going to be fine, it's going to be fine. Sometimes when I see Mike, my, my heart starts like, oh. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm just saying. Why are you saying. doing that, man? Mary is reliable. Why are you Mike Mary is reliable. She's a hot mama. She always looks good. Thank She's you. always encouraging. Even if you're feeling down, she'll yeah. encourage you to make you, you know, like, don't worry, don't worry. Sit up. It's going to be fine. As in, <gasps> Mary is just such a darling. Oh, yeah. She's Mary, she's love you, Mary. Mary. Mary is a single shot. I don't need to share this stage with Mary now. Let it be yeah. Mary. So, that, so you're me, you're me. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, so, um, <laughs> Um, so I was with Mary's sister, I think, two days ago, mm -hmm. and so she said something about her that you guys don't know, mm. which is that she's actually very shy and reserved. Who? Mary. Exactly. Who we don't know? Exactly. Uh, we know. Mary. 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 She's shy. shy. <laughs> so, but, you know, so, but she puts out this... Um, what? Persona, so that you, so you, that, you, you yeah. won't be able to. <laughs> so we know you. We now yeah. know you yeah. very, very we well. We have anyway, your receipts. So, but um, <laughs> yeah. So speaking of from what Titi said, Mary is reliable. Mm. Um, yeah. if she's, if she says she's going to be there. She's going to be there. She's yeah. very professional. Mm -hmm. um, whether on radio or on TV, mm -hmm. she's professional. She tries to ensure that yeah. um, what she's been, the task she has been given, to a fault. Actually. <laughs> yeah. He's not on the rundown. I'm not going to do it. You know that kind of thing. So, she's a pro in that area. Yeah, but she's reliable. She she, she keeps to the task. Make sure that it's done. And yeah, she, she's a, she's if something happens, I will make an error. I'll put Mary all through everything. Yeah. Mary will tell of you to go out. Yeah. <laughs> That's what is on the rundown. It's down. my name that is there. It's my name that is there. Yeah, yeah. yeah but Mary, great, great. Mary is a great human. As yeah. a, as, as a human, Aww. she's a great person. You know. It's not so easy to tolerate my own excesses, and Mary does that very well. Mary, wonderful person, I must say, and uh, she's 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 nice to a fault, I must say. So then, entrepreneur too bad. Uh, Mary, Mary's a great person. That's all I can say. <laughs> wonderful, great person. We love you, Mary. But she has uh, her birthday jitters eh, are off the hook. You tell Mary, Mary will fire you. Uh, you uh, must <laughs> come to work on your birthday. Mary will say, I will, I will, I will, let me go to. <laughs> I don't know the name of the station now. <laughs> let me go. Let me go. Yeah, but happy birthday, Mary. It was happy great. Birthday. It's great to celebrate you. Thank so, you. some God other person. You in your yeah. New yeah. Some other person who's Mary's birthday mate mm. and is um, our boss mm -hmm. is uh, Folari Nolukule. We have a video here. Yeah. And uh, yesterday was his birthday also with Mary. Mm. And uh, maybe uh, let's let's see this video and then we'll maybe talk about him probably also. Let's, let's take a look <laughs> at this. There's a popular adage that says that a journey of a thousand miles begins with a step. With you, our boss. For Lionel Lukele, we've taken more than just a few steps. We've taken a great many steps with you. It's been a pleasure working with you. I personally have learned so much from you. Your adept mind is something that I really treasure. Thank you for taking us from where we were to where we are now, and we know that there's still so much further that you can take us. Happy birthday, boss. The rest of the staff here would like to say one or two words to you and about you. Enjoy this. Turn up today! Number one, nothing to do to a creative boss. Nice boss. Great boss. Great man. Full of experience. Disciplined. Smart. Happy birthday, boss. We love you. My Happy birthday, Mr. Fulare. Happy birthday for Larry. Happy birthday, Mr. Lukule for Larry. Long life and prosperity. Yes. Happy birthday, sir. Thank you for everything. Love you. Enjoy your day. Where was I? It was sharp, sharp, sharp. Ah, ah, ah. It was nicely cut. You were on the you were you were flying Kenya. now. You were on your way back now. You were in Kenya. <laughs> and I was on a, I was on a break. The team was doing the Willy Willy disappearing act. Wow, really? Mike? No okay, worries. but hey, but hey, but hey. But you know. um, so there, there's so much that happened uh, as soon as you know he came on the scene. 
uh, you know, there was the refresh and rebrand of yeah. East Flash, you know, and East Flash has taken so many great strides forward. For Wake Up Nigeria, we're more, you know, efficient, we're more put together, we have so much more that we do on the show, and there's so many reasons to look up to you, boss. Yeah. We appreciate you. Thank yeah. you so much for what you do. Falari's a great guy. Yeah. Um, we talk, you know, once in a while about family and, mm. and stuff, and mm. uh, we have a lot of our experiences are similar. Mm. Okay. So we have family that have relocated to Canada, so we talk about that every once in a while. <laughs> okay. Now how far, now how far, what's happening, you know, that kind of thing, and uh, friends as well. So like ev almost everybody we know mm. has relocated. Ah, wow. So I'm always asking him, please, what are you still doing here? <laughs> so, you know, so, but yeah, um, it's, uh, he's, he's, a, he's, a, he's a great you guy. You uh, now, now we know, so now you're miss again. Now. <laughs> Folks, it's time for our very first performance on the show today. And this time is going to be by M.M. Zil. <laughs> Adenaike Ibezim Yusuf, uh, popularly known as M.M. Zil. He is an Afropop and hip-hop artist who studied uh, physiotherapy at the University of Ibadan. M.M. Zil already has uh, five songs on all digital platforms with three musical videos. And he's going to perform his latest song titled the flow so what's the flow about yeah it's about love it's about love yeah uh -uh. Sure. the flow of love exactly that's the first i've not heard that one before into love. Uh, you need to use your mic okay you have uh, to so flow into love like okay so flowing into love exactly aha uh -huh. so mm zil how did you come about that name because we have an mm on the show <laughs> <laughs> and i'm wondering is it that you took the name of someone you really liked um, not really, actually. You need to use your... It's about uh, my passion, you okay. know, the way I'm zealous about things that I want to do and I want to achieve. Okay. So people say, oh, this guy is very zealous and he has passion, you know. M.M. Zeal, you know, man with the mind of zeal, you know. Oh, so so I just, amazing. yeah, Fantastic. changed the spelling in a way. That ah. zeal is actually Z-E-A-L, but I changed to Z-I-L. Oh, okay. Yeah. So M.M. Zeal, not M.M. Ime, but M.M. <laughs> Zeal, <laughs> she's a, he's about to give us a performance right yeah. now. The flow is what it's titled. Take it away. Yeah. I don't say you sabi. You like to say you sabi. Oh yeah, she buy you, buy you, buy. I'm on the new road, and I she buy. Well, if you missed the first hour of the show, the party's just getting started. We still have a lot lined up for you today. And it only gets better as we move along. So, moving around without our mobile app might be detrimental. You need to watch <laughs> us live. Oh and of course, uh, you, hey, you might miss something. You just have all this English that you pull out from, <laughs> from your hat or something. Detrimental. You, you have no idea detrimental. the words spinning <laughs> around in my head after anyway. the week I've had. Yeah, now, there's the quite a hour. lot mm -hmm. happening, though. Yeah, you know, it's really. the second hour mm -hmm. of the show. Uh, welcome to the Friday edition of Wake Up Nigeria. My name is Yomi Owokwe. And I'm Titi Laya Oinson. We're live streaming on TVCentertainment.tv. And of course, on Facebook Live at TVC Connect. Send in those comments as soon as you can. Social media platforms are waiting for your comments with our hashtag Wake Up Nigeria on TVC. Yes, indeed. We also have our app available, and our TT has already talked about it. Mm. Uh, you can download this app both on the Android and iOS store, mm. and it allows you to watch us anywhere you are. Yes, indeed. Now, it wouldn't be a complete show without our kitchen mm. being alive and kicking. 
Something delicious is cooking already. I don't know who's in charge there. Mm -hmm. uh, don't worry, don't Whether worry. Whether it's Mike or yeah, Mary. Chef. Don't worry, don't worry. <laughs> Mike looked like he came to eat. He didn't look like he came to cook. I don't know. It looks no, like we're for today. Oambe. Fa, 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 fa. <laughs> Foul. Foul. <laughs> and they're uh, with Chef Johnson. Yeah, yeah, Chef Johnson is in the building and he's going to be doing so. I saw him chopping some some things, some uh, cabbages and things earlier on. Yeah. So yeah, whatever it is, it looks nice. All right. All right. So coming up on the show uh, is a play by Bolanli titled "Man Enough." Mm. <laughs> I was just trying to rest up. Hey! See you! Dude! So we are paying you now to rest and not to work, yeah? Sir, um, please, sir, it's not the Can I just rest? Uh, Come here! Listen, if you rest again, uh, I swear to God, I will make sure that you rest in peace. Uh, yes! Okay. That's a live theatre performance there. Then, of course, we'll switch things up with an energetic dance performance from A Blaze Dance Crew. For our second performance of the day, we have singer and songwriter P Ray. One day, them go call me, one day, them go say, say you know, remember. And finally, joining us for a chat is award-winning actor, mother, philanthropist, and so much more, Omotala Jalade Ekende. Jacob, can you find a way to get us out of this terrible traffic and take me to the hotel? What would you do, though? Well, <laughs> what would you do? If, if you're the driver? Yeah, like... I don't understand. <laughs> In the movie, she's just a, it's it's a movie now. Movie, no. <laughs> I know, but I'm just trying oh, to think okay. about the movie. like in the in the reality. In the reality, is this oh, traffic. Uh, uh, See, guys, uh, yeah. <laughs> I, I'm gonna I'm gonna tell us what's happening today. Mm -hmm. But there's something weird that happened to me yesterday. Mm. Someone said, "Google your name." Oh wow! <laughs> I now oh, Google my because yeah. I know I don't have anything online that I yeah. can push. And in the process of googling my name. I saw that there was a Wikipedia page in my name. Oh, wow. Except it was written in Yoruba. I'm still trying to make sense of that. Uh, I don't know how wow. come, I'm telling you. <laughs> wow. That's I think that was not bad enough. There was, a, a, there was this okay. international website that I not only found my date of birth on, wow. but my age as well, <laughs> <laughs> on thisday.com. Okay. And I was wondering how it got there because it's usually... Um, celebrities all over the world are usually so. Yeah, but you're a celebrity. I'm a celeb now. Uh, yeah, yeah. I was actually shocked. You have okay, you so have your own fan club. Like how many people have their own fan club? Uh, so why you why uh, you, no, you, know, you know why you for me um, like you're surprised? No, because I don't feel like one. <laughs> you have to be modest about I don't feel like one. Okay, she's being modest. I don't feel like one at all. <laughs> <laughs> just want to be modest and let you have your moment. No, but really, and then but, yesterday the yeah. solution said, oh, they are coming today. They are gonna. I'm not celebrating my birthday. They're yeah. still going to do something. They're called solutions. Can you imagine? They're called solutions. Like, like the Malians and the, <laughs> and, the, and the other folk. No, I mentioned it yesterday. Oh. That she has her own fan base. Like, That's I remember weird. listening to Mary's show. Because we were on the radio at the same time for yeah. years and years. And you know, you have to check out your competition now. You have to know what they're doing. <laughs> why, do you, why do you think I have my own dynamite? Why do you think... You think she has her solutions and yeah. they're solidly behind her. And honestly, uh, everybody if they're throwing party for you, I'm going to join everybody, you. Everybody, you. everybody, everybody just, I'm I'm like you, you mentioned yeah. something also, you mentioned Malians. And I, I want to say something about that, uh, that, that young yeah. man. You know, mm. it's so funny mm. how much of, um, uh, you know, stick he gets, how much of criticism. But mm. once they just, I always say, it, once, once you hear inside life, ah, ah. people oh, used to lose their home training. That's where it came from. <laughs> yes, now. <laughs> Yeah. Ah. Okay. And if you know what follows that inside life. No prime money also. Don't just stop it there. So right. this is like a hashtag. Okay, we're, we're, we're <laughs> we, have the, we have to go to the news now and the Sarah's in standby for us. All right, let's take the news update. Now, President Mohamed Buhari has made a strong demand for exemplary conduct of non-partisanship from election and law enforcement officials in Bayelsa and Kuki states. In a statement signed by the senior special assistant to the president on media and publicity, Gadwa Show, the president charged all officials to carry out their functions with fairness and transparency without fear or favor. President Buhari called on voters to exercise their franchise in a peaceful and orderly manner and in line with the law in all situations. He also lamented the incidents of violence recorded and indiscriminate use of language. 
since the ban on campaigns was lifted a few weeks ago. The statement also noted, quote, law enforcement officials must ensure that citizens are allowed to vote without harassment and intimidation. And any attempt to steal or hijack a ballot must be stopped using all legal means, end quote. He urged all candidates to be ready to accept the outcomes and follow due process of the law if dissatisfied. Out of Saturday's governorship and senatorial rerun elections in Kogi State, the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, has taken delivery of sensitive materials to be used for the polls, like ballot papers and result sheets from the Central Bank of Nigeria. Now, this is the final phase of preparations for the conduct of the governorship and senatorial rerun elections in Kogi State. Officials of the Independent National Electoral Commission were at the Central Bank of Nigeria in Lokoja to take delivery of the sensitive materials, like ballot papers and result sheets. Now, the state elect resident electoral commissioner, the commissioner of police, party agents and security operatives were at the venue to witness the handing over of the electoral materials. Now, the resident electoral commissioner listed the sensitive materials and the destination and he said uh, the executive director of Yaga Africa raised an alarm about their pre-election observations, which should, which shows that there is a deployment of thugs in a confluent state. He also challenged security agencies to safeguard the electoral materials. Now, the resident electoral commissioner spoke about arrangements made to ensure materials get to flooded areas like Basa and Ibadji local government areas, as well as Kotoran Cafe. The materials will be distributed to 21 local government areas of the state from where they will further be distributed to various registration areas. About 1.6 million voters are expected to participate in the governorship election across the 21 local government areas of the state. Well, it's just a day to the governorship election in Kogi and Bayasa states, and more than 60 candidates are contesting the elections in both states. Their fate will be determined by 2.4 million registered voters. The Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, or our state in its preparedness for the polls, highlighted flashpoints in Kogi and Bayelsa, expressing concerns that the polls may be marred by violence. Men of the Nigeria Police Force have been deployed to the states to forestall the breakdown of law and order. And INEC says operators of the EFCC and ICPC will be deployed to the polling centers to arrest persons involved in vote buying. Outside Nigeria, two students have been killed and three others injured by a gunman who opened fire at a high school in California minutes before the school day was due to begin. According to authorities, the incident took place in just 16 seconds when the teen whose birthday was on Thursday went to his high school, pulled a pistol from his backpack and shot five classmates and himself. The victims, a 16-year-old girl and a 14-year-old boy, died at at a hospital while the 16 year old male suspect who was also injured and in critical condition has been taken into custody well, that's the news update for this hour stay tuned for sports it's great to have you in the kitchen chef johnson thank you it's been a while what have you been up to yeah been busy lately. Okay. Yeah, very busy. At the restaurant? No, no restaurant, basically. Mm -hmm. it's, it's personal. Okay, yeah. all right, all right. <laughs> not to worry, not to worry when Chef Johnson's around. Everything's going to be great. See how organized and colorful he has set out all the ingredients just for you. Let's say what we're making today, Chef Johnson. Okay, um, this morning we'll be making what I call... Um, Okay, to start with, it's a Japanese meal. Okay. Okay, and I call this sweet potato okonomiyaki. Okonomiyaki. Yeah, okonomiyaki, all right. Um, okonomiyaki, okonomiyaki simply means, how would you want to cook it? How do you want it in Japanese? Wow. Yeah, it means, how do you want it? Okonomi means, how do you like it? Mm. How would you want it? Then the yaki there means cook roast, steam, whichever form you want it. So both words added together, it's called okonomiyaki. How would you want this? Cooked. How would you want it cooked? How would, would you want it to roast, baked <laughs> or something? So That's an education for you there. And, so. And you can also call this for convenience sake, all yeah. right? For those who, wants, who, does, who doesn't want to bite their mouth, you can call this <laughs> Japanese pancakes. 
Japanese, but why did you just say that first? <laughs> why did you take us through the whole... <laughs> but okay, we've learned something today. Um, Okonomiyaki. Okonomiyaki. How would you like it cooked? How would, how would you like it cooked? So uh, our ingredients here are looking very colorful. Let's start from here. Okay, we'll be making the use of um, all-purpose flour. Okay. This cabbage, this spring onion. Okay. And this egg. This evaporated milk, which you can also call condensed milk. Mm. This soy sauce, mm -hmm. and this is olive oil. Mm. This is carrot. This is sweet potato. Sweet potato? Yeah, this is the sweet potato okonomiyaki. This is the sweet potato itself. So yeah, was I, this cooked? No, I shredded, I grated it. You just grated the yeah. potato straight up? Yeah. And it didn't change color, interesting. I, I, I've known sweet potato to be something that changes color. Did you do something to it to make sure it didn't? Uh, not at all, but the, thing, the secret behind sweet potato is the fact that when you're about to use it, mm. when you're about to use it, you ensure you use it, you, you grate it. If you are grating it, mm. if, it's not, if you are grating it, you ensure you grate it very few minutes, like two mm. to three minutes before Right, your, before the cooking. usage before cooking it. Beautiful, so beautiful, I think beautiful. that's how you're going to achieve it. If not, it's going to stay on the water for so long, even before you start using it. Okay, so the spices we have here, what And then we have salt. Okay. We have a white pepper. And of course, we have um, oregano for flavor. All right. Okay. Okay, so what is the first thing we're going to do? First thing to do is to saute this. Okay, the potato? The potato. Straight into the pan? Yes, yeah, straight in. No, like oh, when oh, I mean sauteed, oh. I mean... We're gonna drop oil into a pan, okay. and then we'll saute it. The reason why we have to saute this is because while they're trying to achieve the pancake kind of, mm. of a form and style, All right. it might not cook. Mm. But when you saute this, saute means um, half cook, like half done, All right. and then you mix it with all of the ingredients. ingredients and then pop while it we begin the sauteing process, you know. Um, I'm just going to mention that sweet potato is one of the healthiest options when it comes to carbohydrates, you know. So um, I've actually stopped buying yam myself. I started buying sweet potato more than yam. Uh, it's actually often cheaper than yam as well, you know. And it's sweeter. The kids like it more. So this is another great option for you if you're doing this at home. One more time, let's take the ingredients. We have all-purpose flour. Cabbage, yeah. spring onions, we have eggs, evaporated milk, soy sauce, olive oil, carrots, shredded or should I say grated sweet potato. Yeah. Uh, what's this spice again? Oregano. Oregano. This one? White pepper. White pepper and salt. Salt. All right. Chef Johnson. So like I said earlier, the mm. first thing is to drop a very little, a very little amount of oil okay. on the pan. Mm -hmm. All right. Hmm. Okay. And then you add your sweet, sweet potato. potato. Straight into the pan. Straight into the pan. Mm -hmm. So you keep stir frying, like you keep stirring it. Okay. Okay. You keep stirring it. It actually doesn't look like sweet potato at all. <laughs> yeah, that's sweet potato. It looks like cabbage or something. So just keep stirring. Mm -hmm. Is there a particular look I'm looking for uh, to know if it's done? Yes. Hmm. It will be getting a bit caramelizing. When I mean caramelizing, like a bit brown kind okay. of. Okay. But okay. trust me, even at that, it's not still cooked. Hmm. Yeah, it's not still cooked. Okay, okay. Yeah. Well, it's just have to keep hotter. stirring. Yeah. The olive oil uh, option, is, is that your limit or your choice or can I use vegetable oil? Yeah, you can use ve ve vegetable oil. Okay. All vegetable right. oil, you can use it. But even, but even butter. Can use butter. Yeah. All right. So maybe what two, three minutes? Yeah, about two to three minutes. Okay. Cook a bit. Hmm. Then you take it out. Okay. When you take it out, you drop. The, when you not, when you take it out, sorry. When you take it out, then you get your bowl. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Let me hold yeah. this for you. While it's cooking, mm -hmm. while it's cooking, we're gonna um, commence with our mix. All right. You get your bowl. Yeah. Your flour into the bowl. Mm -hmm. Okay, your flour into the bowl. For every mix, for every mix, particularly when you're trying to do with um, any dish that has to do with pancakes and mm. all, mm. you should always first of all mix the um, drying agents. Okay. The drying agents here is the likes of... The white pepper? Yeah, can I make a bit of this? Okay. The, the salt. Okay. Okay, sorry. This, yeah. And then the white pepper. 
Okay. And then the oregano itself. All right. All right. So those are all the dry ingredients? Yeah. So what are the wet ingredients we're adding now? As quickly as possible. The eggs and the milk. The eggs and the milk with the soy sauce. You know what? So you While mix we thoroughly. do that, we have to take a quick break. Chef Johnson is giving us an education in, what's that Chinese word again? Okonomiyaki. Okonomiyaki, <laughs> right here on Wake Up Nigeria. We'll be back, stay with us. is uh, pretty much about uh, the challenges men face. Uh, it was put together, directed by Bolan Leo St. Peters. And um, typically, men pass through a lot of pressure, but we hear a lot about women, 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 but nobody talks about what the men pass through. Ogobo has the strength of 10 men. When we workers, we have the for this character was something that I actually saw on TVC news. Yes, um, my character is actually based on real life experiences and um, it so happened that I stumbled on this um, news thing on YouTube. It said, uh, my character works at Sheng Sheng, but then there was actually a real place called Sheng Fa. And so I knew that the writer took the you know, story from that story. And for me, at that point, I knew I couldn't play with the character. I knew I had to approach it with some kind of reverence. What are you doing? Huh? I, 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 I was just trying to rest up. Hey! See you! Dude. So we are paying you now to rest and not to work, yeah? Sir, um, please, sir, it's down to go. Can I just uh, rest? Uh, so yeah. Listen, if you rest again, uh, I swear to God, I will make sure that you rest in peace. Uh, yes! Oh, oh, oh. Our society and our structure forbids men to cower under or, be, or show vulnerability or, or, you know, cringe under some certain kind of pressure. Be a man, toughen up. That's what boys don't cry, that's what we're told. You know, so to hear of this perspective of guys breaking down and still keeping their humanity or their sanity, because um, that's, that's what makes us who we are. Uh, we, we cry when the lights go out. It brings to the fore the fact that it's not only women who have those issues now. It's not only women who cry about harassment. Men actually are harassed. But by way of those structures, those setups that forbids the man to cower, you know, he has to be man enough. Why would they embarrass a smoking like that? <laughs> For a month, huh? Now I'm the old. Now we never fail. Everything, everything is falling inwards. Anita is a sweet girl. She loves Onyilo, and um, they are not officially married. They just live together, and she already has a child for him. And um, you know, she's just a very sweet wife. However. Our husband vexed her when he asked her to abort their second child and she thought that she, um, he didn't love her anymore. Already, he, she was already suspecting that he had a, he's having an affair with, an affair rather, with um, somebody. Why should she take the What does she want? I don't know. You don't know and you're expecting to believe that. Oh, come on. Come on, what? You're expecting to believe that? Eh? I you think I'm a fool, I mean? Oh, you don't think I'm a fool? Baby, yeah. For me, when I first got my script and I read through the script, I cried because for the first time, uh, it's not like I've not had that conversation with people before or like an argument, but because I read the script, I was able to understand the struggle of men. When I got the script, I liked it because it was different from, you know, 
quite a lot of plays that I've been in um, that I've gone to watch and the fact that he's actually talking about the, the, the boy child, the, the, the male in society, rather than just women. Everyone's talking about the women. Oh, the women, the, the child, got, the, the female child got raped. Oh, the, the female child uh, got this, the female child. Yeah, but no one's really talking about the men. Um, and this story was actually talking about, you know, the men. So I was very excited about doing it. Look at this note. It can smell adultery from a fucking mile off. So tell me who that person you're talking to is. Who, who is it? Taking your dick and taking my money. Of course, you will, you will pay me for something I don't even know anything about. Something you, you don't know? I, I don't know. Or something you don't think I know. Really. I say I don't know. In fact, the character Madame Susie is a powerful, uh, a strong, rich um, a woman who knows what she wants and will stop at nothing to get it. Oh, you know, I want you. <laughs> Lots of messages actually, and um, one, the most important one is not to overdo things, you know, and to just be yourself. Oh, it was amazing. Um, I think everyone should come see it. It's really. It, let, it, lets, it makes you introspect a bit. Every scene had like something really good going for it. Um, <laughs> there, was, uh, there was this part where they called the lady a papa wolf. <laughs> it was like, it was really colors. So yeah. I really, really do love Man Enough. Man Enough is a man filled with responsibilities, a man that is trying to find a way to do legal stuff. I think my most favorite part will have to be where was reminding me of responsibilities and how difficult it is to actually go through responsibilities it, I can relate to it so it was like my most beautiful part do you know do you know do you know come 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 come, come. <coughs> why you know me target no <laughs>uh, it'd be nice if you got a chance to go see that play anyway Alex Ade Adefemi, popularly known as AAA, is a performance management expert and UK certified life coach. He's here again, and today he's going to be discussing something different with us. A conference is coming up, uh, talking about uh, getting people ready for the next year. Get set. Yes. Wow. How are you doing? So, um, it's good to have you join us uh, this morning. Same now, you've been, you've been having this conference on a yearly basis uh, yes, at the Civic Center. For about six and years now. For about six years. And another one is going to be taking place tomorrow. Talk to yes. us about uh, this so, year's conference. So it's called Get Set. Um, every year, now this is an interesting thing, we call it, this year's own is called Get Set 2020. Hmm. So we always name it the year um, ahead. So right. So most of the times we do, so we do Get Set 2020 in 2019. Right. At the end right. of 2019. Mm. So 2019 was done at the end of 2018. So, um, so this is Get so Set this is 2020. Get, get Set 2020. So basically it's a business retreat. Mm. And then what do we mean by business retreat? Um, preparing business owners mainly on how to be able to create a plan and a structure particular for the year they're about to step into. Mm. So because every year is peculiar. Um, take, for instance, 2019 um, was, um, I might say, um, even though we're still talking elections right now, um, 2019 was an election year. Mm. Now, if you were planning for 2019 in 2018 and you, weren't, you didn't have that in mind, there is a way that it will, um, it will affect your business. Yes, now, it would have disrupted a few things. I mean, we, you know, the time where the people, no, nobody could move around. Mm. Um, during that time, even... <coughs> excuse me. Yeah. During that time, even... Um, Economically, the country was slowed down, mm. sort of. So that, will, of course, will allow, will affect the way things move around in the, in, in the economy and, in the, in, and affect businesses as well. Right. So that's why we're setting up Get Set to help you look into the year ahead and then say, okay, um, what are the things that you need to, how do you create a plan that is peculiar to that year? What are the things that you need to look out for in that year and then create a plan around it that can help you be successful and be more profitable mm. in the, the coming year? So, so that's for, and that's going to be taking place tomorrow. Yes, it's taking tomorrow. tomorrow. At, the, at the Civic Center in, in Victoria Island. Yes, it's at Civic Center. We've been doing that Civic Center for about five years now mm. and then um, they've been gracious with with us and um, they're working with us on that as well and 
you, of course you know that it's a very serene environment mm. for you to be able to learn and it's designed especially for that and it's a heart. Mm. The, and a particular reason why we're using the Civic Center is because it's in the heart of Lagos, it's central. Mm. You, you almost anybody can, I don't need to describe to you where Civic Center is, exactly. it's right there in Victoria Island. Mm. Okay, so now talk to us about, about the people that you're expecting for, for this program because you know sometimes um, if something is tailored or designed for specific mm. people, I mean, yeah. they'd like to know so that yeah. they can say, oh, well, this is designed for me. I think I'll, I'll be there. So what we are looking at, like I said, is business owners. Now, business owners and, business, and executive leaders. So um, you want to be able to, uh, you own a business, whether small or medium scale. We're not necessarily looking at the big organizations. Mm. We're looking more at the small and medium scale businesses. So you own a business and you think you need to scale your business in 2019. Mm. I mean, 2020, beg your pardon. And then, so you need to, um, and for most business, most organizations, they have, uh, they, pay, they pay us, to be honest, mm. for retreats. So we come and they pay us top dollar to organize retreats for their organizations. Mm. Now, but we thought about it, that, okay, what about the small and medium scale businesses? Who does retreats for them? Right, right. So, and because most of the times they, they, they are, their staffing is not much, and in some other cases, it might, they might be the whole, they might be the staff, they might mm. be everything yeah. to the business. So if we can have all of them come to a room, um, not, and not um, charge them as much as we charge the big, mm. big corporations, and then come to your room and then we help them create a, a plan and a structure that tailors, that's tailored to their business. So mm. the, the crowd is not much, so we can be able to tailor everybody's business, be able to deal with them. And we're having top speakers and top coaches come in. I'm not just the only one speaking yeah. there. Okay, so talk to us about, um, so if, if I'm a small business owner and I'm watching now and I said, oh, wow, I have to be at, at Get Tech 2020, yes. what should I do? Now, so basically to, um, to be at Get Tech 2020, to be honest, the, our, our seats are limited. So mm. we, are, we are almost at, we are at the tail end of yeah. what we can take in mm. for this year. But um, simply uh, what you need to do is send me a DM on my, on my um, what's it called, my social media handle. Right. Uh, because at the end of the day, we still have to ask you a few questions to be sure you fit to the crit category of what we're trying to look for. So, mm. But basically to start with, you have a business, you have a small a medium scale business and you are looking at scaling up a new year. Because the theme for this year is profiting in spite of scarcity. Right. So right. we know that, yes, we, 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 we're not being oblivious of what's going on in the country. The country, um, there's been a bit of, a bit of challenges with a lot of people, a lot of entrepreneurs mm. have complained about um, they didn't make their targets, they're not making money, the profit wasn't too much this year. Mm. So we thought to ourselves, okay, how do we help you improve your profits, even though there might be a bit of scarcity? Because whether you like it or not, Every year has the potential to be profitable. Mm. Businesses are making profits every year. People are actually cashing in. People are smiling to the bank. So what must you do particularly to be able to achieve those results? So some of those things um, we will be, most of those things we'll be looking at in Get Set. So mm. the, um, that's, that's pretty much it. So profiting, profiting in times of scarcity, when, yes. when, when uh, it doesn't look like the economy is yes. rosy, but, it's still, but possible still being to able to profit. It's still possible to profit um, because you just need to look at certain things and adjust certain things. So take, for instance, I will quickly drop this. Um, there are three, I, I was sharing this before, there are three P's that you need to probably look at. Um, first of all, you have to look at your product. Mm. Just quickly, just before, just to give you a tip of the iceberg. You have to look at your product. You look, look at the people, mm. and then you look at your promotions. <clears throat> mm. Excuse me. Now, the product simply means, what are you selling? Now, can you tailor that product in this time to meet them? Now, if you notice a lot of organizations now, even the top um, FMCGs, now they make all these juices and stuff, you notice probably that they have reduced mm. the size of the juices and maintained the quality. So you also have to look at that, and, and that's because of the brand that they have. Mm. Some certain organizations have reduced the quantity, the quality, and some people don't mind right. buying yeah. that quantity, mm. you understand? So that's key. Um, so you have to look at the product. Then the people that you're trying to sell to, what's the target audience mm. they're trying to sell to at this time? You have to also look at what are they looking for? What is, are, those, are those people that will rather pay for more quantity? Um, and just a, a little bit reduction on the quality. Mm. Or they would rather pay for less quantity 
um, but top quality. Right. And then you must focus on your promotions. How are you reaching them? So where are they? And what are the best ways to be able to reach them? And those are the strategies we must look into. Particularly this year, we'll be focusing more on marketing mm. and how mm. to be able to reach customers because the customers are there. You know I mean? There are people are there that are willing to pay money to buy stuff, but you just have not been able to reach them to locate well them, enough. Find out where they are and ensure so that... you must be able to uh, match your product with your people and your promotions. That is a BAM! Hmm. solution. That's amazing. Thank you so much for joining us, uh, Coach Tripoli, on the show today. Thank now, the you. program, of course, is Get Set 2020. It's taking place at Civic Center tomorrow. Uh, so catch up with him on social media. He said to send him a DM. So DMs are open. Send him a DM and see how you can participate in tomorrow's conference. Good to have you and uh, wish you all you the best much. with the conference. Thank you. Uh, quick break now. We'll be back with more in the kitchen on Wake Up Nigeria. It's time for our performance and today's dance performance is on another level. <laughs> it's going to be like a dance drama and I've got uh, the Ablaze group, yeah, the Ablaze dance troupe right here with me. Uh, here is Aga. Aga means war by the way. Delta. <laughs> uh, and it made me really scared, I'll admit. <laughs> How are you doing today? I'm fine, thank you. Now you guys have been together for about seven years now? Yeah, seven years. Uh, what has it been like? It's not been easy. Mm. You know, we are not just a dance crew, we are a gospel dance crew. So okay. that's segregation alone. It's but we thank God. Anyways, he has been keeping us and the provision. So how did you guys come together? Ah, it's a whole lot of story. We all met <laughs> ourselves different ways. Like they met me in a oh, party. They met you in yes. a party. Okay. So he was like, Do you know you can actually use this talent for good? Another speech, and I was oh, like, wow. Ah, okay, let me try it out. And yeah, I am. And here you are. So you've been with the group for how long now? Six years. Six, oh, just a year later. Yeah. Aha. Uh -huh. So there are many of you that joined like five years ago, four yeah. years ago. And some of us are in school, some of us have married. So. Wow. And it's just about the, the trip, right? Yeah. So w what are you performing for us today? Okay, we're actually doing a dance piece talking on the splendor of God, how to communicate through God. You know, people use Igbo. So people use Yoruba. So we're actually giving you all forms of praising God. All forms of praising God. Yeah. Now, you know, sometimes when we have dance trips, we have uh, some words voiced and all. Is there going to be any speech or is it just pure dance to pass your message? Okay, because we don't actually do a specific kind of dance. Okay. We are dive, we do diverse type of dance. So okay. we actually have all the spice, the drama, the talks, the dance, everything. All in together. a piece. Yes. Fantastic. Okay, so we're really looking forward to what you guys have for us. What's your character? Um, I'm actually playing like all these angels, okay. like in heaven, like in the Bible we have where we say the angels are praising him, the 24 elders, yeah. so that's what I, I'm actually doing. Oh wow. I want to give people that picture of how it's going to look like uh -huh. on the last day when we'll just be singing hallelujah, hallelujah. Uh, wow. For a minute I thought she was just going to fly away. <laughs> <you know. laughs> Alright, I'm going to let you guys take it away, uh, giving us your praise performance. That's good, that's good. Ah, that's good. Move away from my phone. Hey, you, stop there. Stop running. Why are you they run up and down? Ah, where, where, where they run to? You thought they run here, they run here. Why are you running? In fact, eh, you're under arrest for illegal running of the state. You're under arrest. I say you're under arrest. Why are you running? Why are you running? Why? 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 What? 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 Why are you running? What? 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 Ah, well done, well done, a blaze dance crew there. Now I have here with me Adebola, Adebola who is uh, the founder of More Clue Youth Awards Africa, popularly known as the Maya 
awards that's taking place uh, for this year as well. Now, this is supposed yes. to be the seventh edition of, of, of the awards. Well done, guys. Thank you. Thank so you. Uh, it's all about uh, awards in different um, segments, yes. showbiz, uh, business, fashion, you know, sports, sports and, and the rest of it. So tell us about uh, the Maya Awards and what we have for okay, this year. Um, it's an all youth awards, like you have said, and the focus for us is um, people between the ages of 18 mm. to 35. Then we stretch it forward at times for people who are outside the 40 year bracket. Mm. So we give them honorary awards of excellence depending on what they do. So honorary awards for, for excellence yes. in, in that particular industry? Yeah, in their own field. So those ones are the people who are older than the millennials mm. because those are like the, f the focus for us. So we started it um, as a means of inspiring more people. Mm. Like, okay, if you can't do it. Nothing stops the people coming behind from doing it. So, so but the focus, the focus is youth, youth young people, youth. the young demographic yeah. and all of that. And uh, for this year, what do you have, what should people expect from the Maya Awards Ooh. Africa this year? Like, oh, they should expect so many things because over time, we've, we, what we do is each year it gets better. Mm. So we try to add one, two new plugs, then we remove some things that we feel are no longer ne necessary. So this year there would be musical performances, there will be comedy performances, of course. And I think this year we tried to make it very, very inclusive. Mm. Um, over time, we've always had 50, 60 categories, but this time we had to go as far as 83. 83 categories, yes. wow. And wow. why we had to do that was because it, every now and then people keep coming, we do so, so, so mm. kind of business, then you look at that kind of business. Until this year, I never knew nail business was a big thing in Nigeria. Mm. So everybody was just, I'm a nail technician, I'm like, we're nail technicians, and at the end of the day, we, we saw like 40 people mm. doing that, and they were doing it and making money. So for us, it is about discovering new mm. um, frontiers, at the same time discovering new people and celebrating them for their hard work. Mm. I, I, I also noticed that uh, this is one award that a lot of youths are interested in. For yes. instance, last year you had over a thousand yes. uh, young people in attendance. Yes. And so oh, what do you typically do with all these people that attend? Is there is there a, a mentoring program, like a follow-up for people who, are, yes, who participate? Yes, um, just for for to answer you very, very well. Over the years, we've always worked with Moku Foundation, which right. is like another brand from my own company, where we do charity works. Mm. So this year now, we're trying to take it away from the norm. From February now, we'll be doing the Moku Vocational Center. Right. So right. the Vocational Center is just to engage people more. Everybody wants to be a banker, musician, comedian these days, and I feel this is a sector people should mm. go into. Carpentry is a good work. Yeah. You yeah. can now fungify it with education then you are now going to be like an, a furniture or interior designer, as we call it. Mm. So we're looking at ways of engaging people in more vocational engagements, yeah. like, okay, carpentry, um, bricklaying and construction and all of that. Making um, it more structured. You, you understand? Uh, so from yeah. February, you now, once you start picking them, we'll take them to all of those people, train, we we'll pay. Mm. So from there, after like three, four months, all right, here. thank you so much. Uh, so just to, just to round off, just give us the details of the awards. When is it coming up and where? Okay, it is coming up um, this Sunday. This Sunday? Oh, wow. Yes, it's this Sunday uh, at it's Lekki Event Center. Lekki Event just Center. Just behind Pineapple Filling Station and Lekki Phase 1. And it's starting from 3 o'clock till, say, 9, 10. All right, so it's Maya Awards Africa taking place this Sunday at the Lekki Event Center. Thank you so much, Ademola, thank you for the work that you're doing thank you. for joining us uh, this morning. Uh, the third hour of the show is going to be up in just a minute or two. Stick around. Welcome to the third hour on Wake Up Nigeria. Now, I can't believe we've done two hours already, honestly. Yes, uh, indeed. It feels like it's flown by. Yeah, we still have a lot of uh, amazing content still to come yes, on sir. the show. 45 minutes to go. Yes. Special guest, games, yes, and sir. other things. My name is Yomi Ope. And I'm Titi Lyo Oin. So now, I've not said it all day. Can I say it now? Oh, boy. Okay, it's once. Game once. Day. <laughs> 
no time. There's yeah. only so much on the show. I've not been able to get it off my chest, but I love game day. And now, if you have to move, just get online. Stream with us on tvcentertainment.tv and, of course, on Facebook at TVC Connect. Yeah, send in your comments. We'd like to hear from you today. Uh, use the hashtag WakeUpNigeria on TVC, on Instagram, Facebook, and on Twitter as well. Yes, yeah, so, of course, once you've downloaded this app, we're in your back pocket, so we're with you all through the day. Now, uh, it allows you to watch us from anywhere in the world, so it's a good app to have on your phone, not to worry. Our second performance. Yeah, singer and songwriter uh, P. Ray is going to be joining us. And finally, joining us for a chat is award-winning actor, mother, philanthropist, so much more on Motola Jalade Ekeide. Jacob, could you find a way to get us out of this terrible traffic and take me to the hotel? Okay, I'll do just that, man. Uh, <laughs> the expressions yeah. in there. So now, the music was preparing for something like something was about something to happen. Something was about to happen, yeah? In fact, okay. that's what something is about to happen. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, let me tell yeah. you what's happening today. Today is uh, I Love to Write Day. Ooh. I don't know if anybody has ever... Um, written anything before. Uh, yeah. We are right, uh, we yeah. are right now. It depends on what kind of right. Is it just right? Articles. <laughs> yes, articles. Okay. Books, so it's like, stay so today. I love to write movies day, or I love so to write that like movie. Yeah, uh, we are right yeah. now. I mean, I used to work in the news newspaper, <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. in the, yeah, so you can imagine. <laughs> After all, you just get, writing you just get to tired of writing. Like. <laughs> no, you do, you do. So wow. there was a point where I was writing for yeah. this particular website, and I had, to, I had a target every day. I had to give out at least seven articles. Every wow. day. And then the, you, you, he could check for plagiarism. Mm. So you cannot just leave something from somewhere. And because there's a checker, yeah. there, there, mm. there are bots that you mm. can use. And mm. if there's any, if there's more than about three sentences that rhyme with anything, mm. it takes it off. That's it. So wow. you have to read, understand, and ah, seven articles a day. Okay. Wow. <laughs> wow. It's also so it's Bond's real. Cake Day. We've made that on the show before. Yeah. One of yeah. our yeah. chefs, yes, Bond's Cake. That's B U N D T. Yeah, not burnt like bond okay. cake. Like yeah, bun. oh, okay. Okay. it's also human animal relationship awareness week. Mm. Uh, mm. I is mm. also, not, yeah, it's mm. funny you should say that. I mm. saw the way um, some dogs were being transported in a video, and this video troubled me to my very soul. So, I'm, I, I'm an animal lover, but I'm not that much of a fanatic. Mm. But the way these dogs were packed into cages and put on the back of a bike, mm. on a bike, on a bike. And some of their legs were hanging out, some of their mouths were through the bars. And I was just wondering how they could carry these animals this like way. Yeah, yeah, it was I mean, that's, like they packed chickens. I was thinking the same thing. Like going, going to exactly. them for when you say four. chickens. No, so I, so I think it was about the same thing they do. They were oh, going to use it for four. Yes. Oh, They're probably going to slaughter them oh, for them to be transported possible. that way. It's, yeah. it, it really just... Yeah, probably, if you don't know what fall for is... Yeah. No, 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 I don't worry. If you don't you know, can't don't understand worry. what it means. You can't understand <laughs> like, what it means. Don't worry. No, no, I don't worry. Enough, there's no everything. So, All right, so... Okay. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Uh, today yeah. is also America Re Recycles Day. We should have Nigeria Recycles Day. <laughs> ah, it would be awesome. That should be every day. Uh, today is Spicy Heavens Cookie Day. Today is... Uh, we're also in the month of adoption. Oh. Uh, so, basically, that's it. And then, most important, clean out your refrigerator. Hey! That one. <laughs> Why does Mike have his hands in there? <laughs> so clean out that. your fridge. <laughs> that cleaning, eh? Because oh, actually, so this is what happened. Eh? My friend came around for a conference or so. He came in from Abuja. Uh -huh. So like three weeks ahead, like four of us were tracking him. Ogbeni, Kilishi, Area 1. Mm -hmm. there's, one there's one Kilishi in one, yeah, Area 1, Kilishi. <laughs> Make sure. So there's small Kilishi remnants in my fridge. That go, yeah. The Kilishi has to stay as long as it can stay. So imagine Kilishi can store his own. So Kilishi and fridge. Then there's some other things that, when you talk about that cleanliness, wow, that, taking wow. out that fridge, ah, that fridge needs so, some work. <laughs> so, you know. Kilishi becomes sticky when it's, when it's been in the fridge. Yeah. Oh, does it? Well, sometimes. It's really so it ah, this, in one, in one Kilishi, mm, it's not like any other Kilishi. It depends, though. <laughs> it's, it's you know so sticky. It's like, not sticky. There are two types. I'm there's telling you the now. Three one, oh. I'm easy brown, and then the red one. Are we like really talking, talking about like Kilishi? I've kept it for one month. That if you bring that, Kilishi is like biscuits. Break hey. it. <laughs> oh. yeah. When you know that, it will not melt your mouth. The juice is not enter. No this is so gary without sugar. Don't soak the gary. It's jebu gary. So and the uh, area one Kilishi. The issue with fridges, uh -uh. Eh? 
<laughs> is that there's always so much in there. Sometimes there are things hidden that you don't even know are still there. We I have to go to the news, news. That's news. <laughs> Thank <now>. you. <laughs> I'm sure Sarah has been uh, waiting for She's us. She's tried Kilishi before now, sure. <laughs> Of course, I, who has not tried Kilishi Nigeria? If you've not, you're missing a lot. But then let's go to the news updates now. First, Mohamed Buhari has made a strong demand for exemplary conduct of non-partisanship from election and law enforcement officials in Bayelsa and Kogi states. In a statement signed by the senior special assistant to the president on media and publicity, Garba Shew, the president charged all officials to carry out their functions with fairness and transparency without fear or favor. President Buhari called on voters to exercise their franchise in a peaceful and orderly manner and in line with the law in all situations. He also lamented the incidents of violence recorded and indiscriminate use of language since the ban on campaigns was lifted a few weeks ago. The statement also noted, quote, law enforcement officials must ensure that citizens are allowed to vote without harassment and intimidation and any attempt to steal or hijack ballots must be stopped using all legal means, end quote. He urged all candidates to be ready to accept the outcomes and follow due process of the law if dissatisfied. Ahead of Saturday's governorship and senatorial rerun elections in Kogi State, the Independent National Electric Commission, INEC, has taken delivery of sensitive materials to be used for the polls like ballot papers and result sheets from the Central Bank of Nigeria. This is the final phase of preparations for the conduct of the governorship election in Kogi State. The executive director of Yaga Africa, Sam Senitoro, raised an alarm about the uh, pre-election observations, which shows that there is a deployment of thugs in the confluent state. It challenged security agencies to safeguard the electoral materials. The materials will be distributed to the 21 local government areas of the states from where they will be further distributed to various registration areas. About 1.6 million voters are expected to participate in the governorship election across the 21 local government areas of the state. Away from election matters now, a high court in Abuja has imposed a fine of 1 million naira on Busala Dakolo over rape allegations against the senior pastor of the Commonwealth of Zion Assembly, Biodon Fatoyibo. She sued the pastor and alleged that his action and his denial in statements caused her emotional distress that affected a marital sex life. But the presiding judge described it as a purely sentimental abuse of judicial process. It dismissed the case and said that Mrs. Dakolo wasted the court's time and ordered her to pay 1 million naira. Mrs. Dakolo's lawyer says she will go to a superior court to challenge the ruling. Out of Nigeria, two students have been killed and three others have been injured by a gunman who opened fire at a high school in California minutes before the school day was due to begin. According to authorities, the incident took place in just 16 seconds when the teen whose birthday was on Thursday went to his high school, pulled a pistol from his backpack and shot five classmates and himself. The victims, a 16-year-old girl and a 14-year-old boy, died at a hospital while a 16-year-old male suspect, who was also injured and in critical condition, has been taken into custody. Well, that's the news today on Wake Up Nigeria. Stay tuned for the rest. Okay, it is time for yet another performance. <laughs> Seems like I have them on lockdown today, right here on Wake Up Nigeria. This time by P. Ray. Uh, that's his name. Eiwumi Olawale Belumi, uh, professionally known as P. Ray, is a singer and songwriter. Now, this young talent from Ilorin uh, fell in love with music at a very young age and is now signed to Nakos 19 Records. And let's find out more from P. Ray before he performs. Now, let's start from P. Ray. How did you come about? I know P is uh, Belumi. Yeah. You need to use your mic. <laughs> oh, okay, sir. P is Belumi. So where did Ray come from? That's the like part of my surname. My surname is Ray Ayiwumi. Uh -huh. Oh, you are from the... Okay, let, let, <laughs> let me not tease you. <laughs> let me just say, are you from the Ray family? Yes. The yes. popular Ray family? Yeah. So somebody has left the movie industry to do music. Is that it? I guess so. <laughs> you guess so. Do you find it embarrassing when people link you to them? No, 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 no. It's just I've not really been used to like 
showing like this that is that you're my from there. Uh, but we know you have yeah, Muka yeah. Ray, Morphe Ray. How many rays are you guys? <laughs> so yours is P Ray. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you've been doing music all your life, and yes. of course you've been exposed to the movie industry as well. Uh, yeah. But professionally, you've been doing it for two years now. Why yes. did you decide to m go into it professionally? I don't know. It's just something I have passion for. It's basically my life. Mm. So that's like, right from when I was a kid. Like my mom used to say, any small thing, all I do is sing, 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 wow. sing. So yeah. So you've come full passion. circle now to music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what song are you performing for us? Yeah, I'm performing one day. One day. Okay. So it, that day is today, and P Ray is about to perform one day. Take it away. Thank you. You're watching Wake Up Nigeria and we're in the kitchen. Chef Johnson has been hard at work here and we're making something called, take the word. <laughs> Sweet what? potato okonomiyaki. Okonomiyaki which basically means, how do you like it? How would you like it cooked in Mandarin, I believe? So uh, basically what he has is he mixed the flour with the salt and the white pepper, and then he's added soy sauce and evaporated milk. And he's whisking away here. So what's uh, the next part of the process as soon as you're done whisking? Or should I keep whisking for you? No, oh, no, it's fine. Okay. okay it's fine. The vegetables. Okay. All right, the carrot. Straight in. Straight in. Okay. And the cabbage. The cabbage. Fantastic. So we might not actually add all. Okay. So that's like about three or four carrots in there. No, two, just two. Two, okay. Um, not then the sweet carrots. potato. Mm -hmm. Previously sauteed yeah. in olive oil. So that sweet potato you're seeing there was grated and sauteed in olive oil earlier. Yeah. And now I'm mixing it with the flour, carrots, and cabbage. Now the soy sauce has changed the color of the flour, I noted. But I wasn't expecting this color at all. Really? Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's the color. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Nice. So after this, what are you adding next? The spring onion. Spring onion. Should I help you out with that? Uh, not yet. Not yet? I have, to, I have to mix it very well. Yeah. All right then. So as soon as you're done with the mixing, does it go straight into the pan? Yes. All right then. Fantastic. Now, you can note that Chef Johnson is using olive oil and not vegetable oil here, but vegetable oil is permissible. Now we have to hand it over to Mike now. We have a special guest standing by. Mike, it's all yours. Thank you, TT. That looks good there. Now, I know you have been waiting for this one. On the couch with me today is a member of the Order of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, MFR. Now, that's a big one. An award-winning actor who has featured in well over 300 movies since her Nollywood film debut in 1995. She was honored in Time Magazine's list of the 100 most influential people. Wait for it. Not just Nigeria, in the world in 2013. And now, besides gracing covers of magazines and billboards, our guest today, Omotola Jalade Kende, is also a singer, a passionate activist, entrepreneur, philanthropist, and also a doting mother. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Good I, I, know, I, know, I know you are so much of a doting mother. At least we see your post on Instagram, and we know how much your kids mean to you. Yeah. And I want you to say something, that there's a lot you're doing now. It's all about the next generation, your children, and all of that. And uh, yeah, that's, that's very great. You, you know, one thing about your career so far, you've been here for so long. Uh, there's a question I want to ask. How have you managed to stay scandal free for uh, this, for, for, I mean, for decades, for decades in your career? <laughs> Hi, good morning. Wake up, Nigeria. <laughs> yes, yes, this is us. Wake up, Wake Nigeria. Up. <laughs> and you're here. <laughs> Thank mm. you so much. Um, I, I, I would be lying if I had a set answer for that, you mm. know. But I would say what I think I did, you mm. know, and I don't know if that played up in any way. But like I've always said over, over the years, I think just uh, be consistent with what you believe in and what you are about, what mm. you want to do. 
hopefully it makes sense. Mm. And other people would um, see, you know, over time what your essence is about and mm. they would help you to, you know, manage that. To I push guess. you as right. you are. All right, so now I, I know there's a lot you're doing trying to move Nollywood to the next level. There's no need asking about comparing old Nollywood and new Nollywood as it is. But mm. there's a lot, um, if you were in a position to put a lot of things in place, to right. change some things, to do some things, what would you do? What do you think is, um, what could happen to Nollywood? What could be done to get it to where it should be at this point? Um, it cannot be overstated or understated. It's just right on point when you say structure. You know, we need structure, not just in Nollywood, because I do everything, you mm. know, um, but in the entertainment industry. The entertainment industry has the capacity to not only totally fund this country, and I mean that very, very particularly, I pick my words, you know, when I say that. Mm. But right now, I think we're the second, um, um, should I say? Uh, Ener, mm -hmm. apart from or, oil. Or even, yeah. Yeah, apart agriculture, from oil. I think. Yeah, yeah agriculture is also there, but then there's entertainment yeah. agriculture, there's so oil the GDP, amongst the top you know, three or so. And, and we could be number one. Mm. We could be number one um, when it comes to that, but not just even in Nigeria in Africa, in Africa, in the whole of the black nations, mm. you know, um, we can be that if we position ourselves properly, if we go behind right now to fix the foundation and get the structure right before you build a skyscraper, people, you have to go right down go into down, the foundation and take so many flaws into the ground, you mm. know what I mean? So it takes a while before you start to see before the structure come up. Cool. But unfortunately, we came up real quick, which was not our fault. We did what we needed to do. To do. Um, okay. But unfortunately, the forces that were supposed to come together to galvanize and help us become strong and you know help us find our roots in the ground they didn't come in on time, mm. probably because they didn't, they didn't believe that we're going to be anything. And so here we are, we are something now. We are, yes, we are. And you know, something <laughs> I remember, you fought so much on industry, at one point you were even banned. I was. Along with like seven others. And, you know, let's talk about it. What actually happened then? How did it um, impact your career? And moving forward, when you seemingly, when the ban was lifted and all of that, moving forward, how did it impact you? Um, it was just an eye-opener. You know, I mean, I, I guess at that time we didn't think anything of that nature could be done, mm. but we didn't even think about it. It wasn't like we were afraid or anything. Uh, if few of my colleagues and I knew that at the time when we were doing the things we were doing, we needed to do them. Mm. We're not doing it because we wanted to make a point. We're doing it because we knew that it was necessary for us to push the industry forward. Right. And we knew we could do it. We had the power at the time to do it. So of course people, you know, the, the people who were funding us resisted and, you know, and to our shock, <laughs> they banned us from working and we didn't I think that was... Know, yeah, at, at, did you ever think it was possible, like it could happen? Did you? We didn't think, I mean, you know, at that time we didn't think that was something that anybody would want to put on the table, but then it happened. Mm. And so that was another learning um, process, process you know, for and understand, you. understanding of how our industry was, how it was evolving, where we were. And so a lot of us had to adjust at that time and go, okay, so this is possible. What do I do with this? Mm. Um, and it, I would say it really helped us. It mm. really helped us, at least me. I don't know about others. Exactly, and that takes really me, helped me to Tefest because I'm sure that was part of what gave birth to Tefest. Just before we talk about Tefest, let's mm. uh, see this promo. We have something to show you. Mm -hmm. And then we'll get to talk about uh, Tefest. Jacob, can you find a way to get us out of this terrible traffic and take me to the hotel? It's only about show. And that show means me giving you that baby girl for life lifestyle with all of its vibes. It's much more than that. Entertainment is serious business. Tepes is calling. Hello. Entertainment is life. As a member of the Chop Life Gang, I live it. That is why we don't play with the moolah. Hello. The bikini lifestyle is very glamorous. But what's more glamorous is the business of entertainment. Don't dull, because you know I won't. Oh, Tefes is calling. Entertainment is Hello. the new one. We are more durable than gold and even diamonds. Because show business is serious money business. <laughs> ah. Tefes. Promoting possibilities in the business of entertainment. Wow. Now, this is something that we've not seen before. What is Tefest all about? 
exactly what he says, promoting possibilities in the business of entertainment. So TFS is a festival and fair um, to promote the new possibilities in the business of entertainment. Um, as you know, we are very much about the show business, and that's yeah. what we have started with in the industry. Um, rightly so, because we needed to make it glamorous, we needed to make it, you know, work. Um, now, I am about going back to make sure that we now strengthen the, the, sh the, the business. Mm. It, it's called show business for, show a, business. for a reason. Yeah. But we've done the show, now we need to do the business. The business, the money um, part. We, most of us are not young anymore. I have four kids. My last child is 17. Mm. Two of my kids are now into the entertainment industry. My sure. first son is, um, is a music, music producer, producer. And, artist. and artist. My second son is right now studying film in Los Angeles. Mm. Um, you know, so these guys are going to come into the industry and, and to what? And to what? So this is my this is i mean some of us have done very well for ourselves in, you know personally yeah. but then you you find out one day after you sit down i've been selfish you know it's been about me and i'm fine i'm good but then how about the ones coming behind coming me behind. what's the structure you know that we're leaving for them what have we been able to do with what we could have done um to make sure that their lives are better and that they don't have to go through the struggles that we have unfortunately right now there is nothing i'm 25 years in the industry by next year i'll be celebrated by 25 uh, my 25th year in the industry. industry and i i have never earned any money at least from movies for royalties Really? For music, I have, <laughs> which is very interesting. Which is very interesting, you know. And we've not heard so much about the music part, you know. And that happened maybe just after the band. So there was this talk that, okay, it was because of the band, you went into doing music. Was it because of passion or maybe you had nothing to do at that time and music was the next thing to go into? Interestingly, I never planned to be an actor. But I've always wanted to be a singer, you see. So oh, wow. when I actually thought I was going to come into entertainment, I thought it was going to be through music. Hmm. But then, you know, life has a way of, of doing, doing things. things. And yeah. I came in through the movies. Hmm. So when the, and you know, all the time we're always working you know so you never really have any time to yourself so suddenly I have time and I'm like okay so I'm going to do what I really wanted to do wanted to do <laughs> well, now talking about movies uh, last year you were inducted or you were accepted into the uh, uh, you do a voting role in the Academy of okay. Motion Picture Arts and Science, aka the Oscars and mm -hmm. all of that. Is that a yearly thing or is it something that for the foreseeable future you're still there or was it just for last year? So I'm um, um, so there are two things that people don't understand about okay. that. I'm a member of the Academy. Okay. The Academy itself is a is an academy. You know, yeah, I don't yeah, know definitely, that. definitely. So it's an academy. So I'm a member of the Academy. That you're there for life. Okay. All right. Um, and that is by invitation. You know, okay. um, for because of whatever you have done. So you're a member of the Academy. That's the back end. Mm. Now the front end is Os the Oscars, which is one of the things they do. They do. So that also. Um, you can be a member of the Academy and not be a voting member of the Oscars. Hmm. So that's, those are two different roles. Hmm. But luckily, I am both a member of the Academy and, and I'm a voting, voting member of Let me just yes, Let me just ask this. We had, we had an issue with our film submission for this year. A number of people don't really understand what happened, why it was rejected at some point, and why maybe couldn't we send in another one and all that. Can you clarify a little bit for us uh, on that? So every, every um, country has just one submission okay. every year. Um, and for foreign films or international movies, unfortunately, it has to be um, foreign language. <laughs> That's it has just to be that. foreign language. Yeah, it has to be foreign language, most of it, you know, or vernacular or something. Um, prior to this, I had already written to them, funny enough, I had already started to work where I was already addressing them concerning this. Like, look, in Nigeria, our, our official language is English, you know, mm. and we'll, we, it will be very awkward for us to start to shoot movies just because. Um, we want to submit it for the Oscar, for the, for so this Oscar. kind of like uh, doesn't play well in our in our uh, favor. Uh, favor. But of course, we have movies in in vernacular we and do. in local Quite languages. Lot. Local so languages. That's another thing that we might have to look at. But then I, I already submitted this, not knowing that it was actually going to come up, and they had already responded to me mm. that you know they're looking into it, but that it's not something they want to address in the immediate future. And so when um, the um, NOSC or something they call the, the selection committee. committee. Uh -huh, put that out, I knew there was going to be problems because I already knew I'm a voting member, you know, and it would have been nice if they consulted, but they didn't, but I already yeah. knew that that was going to be a problem. But I was also curious to see if maybe because of some of the things that we had done earlier, maybe because of a letter I had sent earlier and the conversation I'd had earlier, maybe they could change their mind because, you know, these things happen mm. sometimes for a reason, you know, mm. everything comes together. Definitely. But unfortunately, they didn't, and of course, it was disqualified, but I knew that was going to happen. Anyway. Wow. Wow, see, that's why I skipped so the to conversation. The conversation will continue because on. really it, it might not work too much in our favor if that All stays right. here. All right, thank you very much. Now we're still with Omotola. I would uh, talk about the dates of TFS and how to be a part of it. But we'll just take this break now when we're back. It's our game day, and uh, we'll give you more information on TFS.
Mm. Okay, so um, I but Titi is the one that is anchoring this game. Why, why so am I, I anchoring this? So Mike, Mike and I are anchoring together. I don't know. Which one? I don't get. I don't, I don't, get. I don't understand. Call. Can we? Yeah. <laughs> tell me, tell her, please. One, two, three. It's game day, and we have the amazing Amotola here with us, aka Amo Sexy, and she's going to be playing uh, the game with us. And the game is called Never Have I Ever. Okay, so six. this is a way of getting to know our guests, you know. Uh, there are definitely a lot of things that we would love to ask you in an interview, but there's never enough time. So all we need is a yes or a no. It could be a thumbs up or a thumbs down or what something if, like what that. If a thumb in the middle. I don't know uh, what like, I don't want to answer. You don't want I to answer? That's nah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so you say thumbs up, yes. Thumbs down. Uh, uh, and then I, I, I maybe refuse later. to answer or I plead the fifth. Yeah, yeah, Very probably. Uh, you have fit the Nigeria. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, you can plead the fifth here on Wake Up Nigeria. Okay, so let's um, let's give an example now. So never have I ever jumped out of a plane. Okay, so what what do I do? Either give Either a thumbs up this. or a thumbs down. Okay, that's yeah. Very simple. A thumbs up or a is thumbs everyone down. playing this game or just me? Everybody's oh, playing. Okay, Everybody's okay, playing. Okay, okay. And then if you have, then you tell us exactly what happened when you did. Okay, it. so the rest of the people are the ones that will say the yes or the no. Everybody's going to say. Gonna everybody's going to say either yes or no. Okay, so much you plan then. Let's let's so, let's so, let me let me let me let me learn. Hmm. It's a general question. So, okay, okay. So you've started. Yeah. Have you started? So I've started. I've okay. started. Um, my director, go ahead. Okay. Never, <laughs> have, I Never have I ever fought with my director. <laughs> really, Mike? You've never fought with your director here? Oh, is that for you or for me? For everybody. Have you ever fought, you ever fought, you ever fought you with, you? with several directors? <laughs> I don't know which one's Okay, <laughs> anyone. Random. Random. Is it a thumbs up or a thumbs down? I mean, yeah. Ah. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm uh, fought with my director. Yes, no. We don't fight. We don't fight. <laughs> we don't. Okay, you better, we, you better we, stick we it. We relate. We relate. <laughs> <laughs> so so then we don't. We relate. <laughs> Okay. All right. Say okay. it again. Mm. Okay. Never have I ever played football before. I oh. have. Uh, I have. I have. Absolutely. Solidarity with my son, I did once. You know. Okay. okay. So. <laughs> How did it go when you played football with him? I mean, I just stood there and kicked it. <laughs> <laughs> did you score a goal? Oh, hell no. <laughs> <laughs> it okay, wasn't that right. deep. <laughs> all, right. all right. So did okay. he bring up more questions? Bring up uh, more. Really? Uh, uh, yeah. Really? Mm. Mm. One more time. Okay, all right. So never have I ever been, been stood up by my date. Never. No, never. I have. I, oh, okay, I, okay, so I, be down has the date never. ever stood you up before? <laughs> oh. How? 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 I like that. How? I like that. Boy, you, <laughs> you want to stand up? I should the probably have answered that way. Wow. <laughs> and let me tell you what happened. Okay, let yeah, yeah. Tell, tell us what happened. So it was his mom that actually planned the date for us. Okay. So his mom was the one that reached out to me saying that I should see her son and yada, yada, yada. What the mother was seeing, the son was not seeing it. The son was not seeing okay. it. <laughs> and I was there and I was at the restaurant. I ordered water first. <laughs> then I ordered soft drink. Then I ordered dessert. And I just realized after like 30 minutes, man, this guy is not coming. And I got up and I left. <laughs> but it was an experience and it's not one I wish on my enemy. Yeah. <laughs> so That must have been really embarrassing. Sorry. Mm. Okay, so uh, the next question is, never have I ever burnt food and served it that way? Oh, um, <laughs> well, I have. <laughs> I have. Like, you have? Yeah, you just have to. <laughs> you have to eat it. <laughs> I've burnt food, like but I've never so served burnt. it that way. So you didn't serve it that way? Mm -hmm. Or more? <laughs> You're nice. <laughs> <laughs> so, so who did you serve it to? The kids or hobby? I mean, all of them must have gotten a bit of that kind of problem. It's, you know, I mean, that doesn't happen often, but if yeah. it does, like, look, all right? <laughs> <laughs> it is what it is. So for people like, for experts like us, we don't, we don't, we don't bond food. Wow, yeah, my. Yeah, because all the food is beans so or noodles. Oh, God. <laughs> okay. okay, so never have I ever cried while watching a movie. Oh, I'm a oh, sub I baby. I do that I all the time. I really? I have. You cry? Virtually all the time. Oh, <laughs> but you don't look like someone who would cry while watching a film. Yeah, you just feel like you're 
Really? This, um, you know, strong front, like, ah, our uh, act to see the act finish, let's go on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there are two sides to me. There's the, okay. mm, and there's the, so well, which, which movie? Which movie would you say is mm. one of ones mm. that because I know there'll be many would make you that's really you know got you so emotional? Mm. Which one hasn't? That's that's the question. Mm. Okay. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I'm I'm very invested in emotions. Mm. You know, I, I'm literally very invested. So I I feel everything. Um, I feel the anger. I feel the 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 pain. I feel and I. I, you know, I exaggerate everything. So, <laughs> so mm. in my head is like ten times what you guys are already. A part of feeling. what makes you a great actor, anyway. Mm, 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 mm. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> All right, final question. Never have I ever lost at a game. Ah, uh, I don't lose now. Wake up, Nigeria. <laughs> you know, <laughs> by the way, I'm the champion. I I'm the game champion. So you, you never know lose. now. You know, I don't like lose. Up, wake up, <laughs> so have you ever lost at a game? <laughs> Probably, I don't know. Oh, <laughs> I no. hardly play games, funny enough. Really? I really hardly do. I just told you why do I have yeah. to do this, right? Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. So you're not competitive at all? Hmm. So I'm competitive when I choose to. It's mm. a very intentional thing for me. Mm. If mm. You can't make me compete if I don't want to. Mm. 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 It's just that. Uh, all right. <laughs> so <laughs> I have a feeling mm. I should just keep my own answer. I plead the fifth. <laughs> because I've lost so many Does games on this happen. show, you know, yeah, it's terrible. But just before we go to the kitchen, now we're getting yeah. into the kitchen now. Yeah. Tefes, please, details, yes. date. Is it free? Can anybody come in? Mm. Venue? Mm. What's what's so Tefes is um, taking place on the 29th of November. Um, mm. It is a fair, so of course, if you want to exhibit um, your products as long as it's um, it, it's important to entertainment, mm. entertainment people can use it. You want to uh, advertise to or through entertainment, mm. um, you can come exhibit with us. Okay. Um, it's happening on the 29th of November. If you want to be um, um, if you want to be a delegate, um, it is free. Okay. You don't have to pay. Just go on um, on the website right now and register. Please, we want to we, we want to encourage everyone to register, you know, prior because it's it's a, it's a day event. Just one day. Okay. Yeah, and it's very very timely. We're mm. starting by nine. I'm known to be very strict when it comes mm. to that. We're starting by nine, and everything is going to be very timely. So please pre-register, and it is T E W F. So yeah, so it's www dot t e w f e s t dot com slash registration, right. or just go to the website www dot t e double f e s t dot com. And any questions you have, please call plus two three four eight one six seven nine thousand. We hope that's your right. number. So we call can. Uh, wow, <laughs> my <laughs> no, really? Uh, just be like, hey, hi. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> is that you? <laughs> can we go for a date where you will not start? <laughs> 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 okay. So we're heading to the, the kitchen now. Answer. I've actually seen a clip where you did something with Yomi. There's mm. a movie you were with him. Oh, mm. wow. Yomi yeah. Okwe. There's a movie. There's ah, a clip. Let's end there. Wow, Yomi, tell us about it. Okay. He's going to tell us about it. <laughs> He's going to tell us about it this way. Thank you. <laughs> Yomi, you're going to tell us oh, about that no. movie, right? Please take a seat <laughs> right here. Oh, this is your Welcome seat right there. Welcome to Yomi's Thank Kitchen. Okay. Yomi? So, Yomi's Kitchen. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. <laughs> Okay. Uh, this is Chef Johnson, and this hello, is going Chef to be talking Johnson. about his, hello, uh, what he's done. Mm -hmm. So go ahead, Chef Johnson. Tell right, us what Chef. you've prepared. All right. This is um, sweet potato okonomiyaki. You can as well call it um, Japanese pancakes. Mm. Japanese pancakes. Japanese pancakes. Let's just tell us how you got to how you. Yeah. Put so it um, it's um, basically um, a flour-based meal, all right, with some um, other vegetables in it, the likes of carrots, cabbage. Um, spring onion and sweet potato. Mm. Mm. Oh, yeah. So okay. it's almost like a sweet potato pie. Type <laughs> thing. So you're going to have a taste oh, and okay. let us know what you think. What if I was on a diet? What, oh. if, I was, what if I was fasting? Oh, please. <laughs> have a bite, please. Right, have then. a taste. Chef Johnson. Mm. Well done, Chef. Am I the only one who's good? I don't know if this is poisoned. Oh, oh wow. wow. Someone else has to eat it with me. <laughs> okay. I've been in too many movies. Mike is always willing to come. Yeah, okay, that's nice. No problem. Right. It's okay. Go, it's Chef Johnson. Well done, really, Chef Johnson. Really, Mike? Really? I have to confirm. She said, ah, what now? No, you have to eat out of this one, not that one. All right. This is a problem. This is a problem. This one is good. Really, Mike? Seriously, Mike? <laughs> mm. What did you call it? What did you call it? Great, great, uh, great, I should have just great. grabbed the fork mm -hmm. myself. You know, I should have. Making sense. Nice, really. mm. yeah. Well done, well Chef Johnson. Well done, Chef Johnson. Nice one. But was this nice fried? Um, no. It wasn't. 
So it's very healthy. Uh, yeah. yeah, like seared. So okay. it's a, it has a limited amount of oil in it. Oil, okay. So not like it's a deep fry. Okay. So I sear it basically. All right then. Nice one, nice one. We have to start rounding off the show now. A mm. uh, big thank you to all our uh, guests for joining us, especially the one and only Amatala. Yes. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And a big shout out to our friends at Homely NG for the kitchen accessories. As always, we'll be here again bright and early from Monday, 6 a.m., people. Mm. Yes. Yeah. See you at Tempest. Exactly. Yeah, don't all say together. <laughs> okay. See, See you at Tempest. <laughs> you must go. Right. Have a great day, y'all. Bye. Ha, ha, ha.